Alright folks, Robin here. In today's video I'm going to be showing you my new tent for 2021. It is the Henry Shires Tarp Tent Notch in Southern Ireland. So let's get stuck right in. So what we'll do first is we'll get this bad boy weighed up. It'll also include four pegs in here and most of the seam sealant as well. Bang on 800 grams. Let's get pitched. Right, so in my forever ending quest of finding the perfect backpacking tent, I'm now going to try the tarp tent notch this year for my backpacking trips. Right, folks, I must add that this just arrived in the post three weeks ago, so this is more an overview, if anything. But basically, it's very easy to pitch. You peg down one end first. Only needs four pegs, by the way. And then, just pull it out nice and taut, and then peg down this end. Then you need two trekking poles set at 110 centimetres. And one trekking pole goes either side of the tent. This is one of the first tents I've had where you put the spiky tips up to the roof first. But it is reinforced and it does have a little metal ring where that just slots into. Same again on the front side now. I always feel a bit nervous putting the spikes up to the roof. There we go. And then we'll just peg this side down now. So that there is your rudimental pitch. It's a bit saggy in the middle here, so I'll need to shift this pull over, I think. Still a bit of sag in the middle. Definitely a wee bit of trial and error in here. And obviously this is just the second time I've pitched this. Still a bit too saggy for my liking. I wonder if it's these ends that need perhaps tightened up a bit. It's getting there. That's looking better now. So there you go. That was pretty easy once I got there. <laughs> Let's have a peek inside. So as always, just a simple case of rolling up the door. It's got its usual little toggle here. That's a neat feature, it's actually got a little toggle you pull to tighten it up. And then we'll get the door open. Annoyingly, this they've just given you two little bungee cords so you have to physically tie yourself. So that is a wee bit of a very small irritance. Right, so, got my X-Bed Sinmat in, let's get in and find out how spacious this is. Right folks, I'm in and I've got my Sinmat sleeping pad for me and that is me fully lying down and yeah, I tell you what, it's not as spacious as the uh, Lanshan Pro 1 because obviously it tapers at my feet and my head. But there's still enough room. It's maybe a bit more claustrophobic than some of the other tents. There's a little bit of room at my feet for storing stuff. Literally no room at my head though. So there is a little bit of storage at my feet here. A little bit of storage here. But not nearly as much as the Lanshan Pro that I recently reviewed as well. So, if I open up this door though, that's the one bonus about this tent. It's got two, two vestibules. So if I open up this door, this is where I'm going to have to store most of my gear. Yeah, so there you go. A lot of my gear is going to have to sit out in the second vestibule here. 
but that's okay because you've got room just behind there as well. It is a little bit compact to what I'm used to. Obviously I've got my Trail Star, which is really spacious. I've got the Lanshan Pro 1, which is spacious. Um, this, not so much. But this is going to be my backpacking tent for when I'm hoping to be away more multi-day trips. You can see up here, a tensioner for dinner. A second tensioner each side there, so you can just tighten it up. But again, there's just a nice gap between the fly and the nut. You can see here as well, I've gone for the half solid inner. This is so I can use the tent on colder months and get a little bit of protection from the elements. Here's my headroom, quite small. The one other thing I noticed about this notch is the little strap for giving the inner some tension. I was expecting, like, I don't know, either a, a bungee cord loop or a bit of Velcro to go around the pole. Instead, it just seems to have a small loop enough to get your finger around and the only way I can see you can do it is by sitting the trekking pole on top of it and with the tension from the roof is enough to hold that in place but I can see that may be coming out sometimes so I might try and do a modification to that and add a loop to this you can see here there is plenty of storage for gear and if I go around the tent You've got the same again. So I suppose there is a lot of storage in this. I don't know, I just, I'm, I suppose I'm used to having a bigger inner here, but uh, it is just a bit more compact. I've noticed as well for ventilation, you can pull this away, like so. What I haven't worked out yet is where you can sort of fold that up and store it away so it doesn't flap during the night. I suppose you could figure out something, but it's not obvious at the moment. There's one of these at either side. As with many sill nylon tents, you'll have to seal this as well with some sill net. I've started this and I ran out, so annoying. But basically, you do along the top of the apex here. You want to do down here as well, right to the bottom. I've sealed all that, sealed here, sealed up there, again right to the top. And of course you'll do it exactly the same on the other side as well, just seal down these two sides. You can just see where I ran out, it stops right there. So I've only got here, down to here to do, and I've done all this as well. So it's just so annoying, I just had this last little metre or so still to do. But that's alright. You'll see here on windy or snowy days, you can peg these out as well to give this tent more stability. So I'll be carrying two extra tent pegs with me and I will. You can see there, just pulling that slightly, just nicely tightens that up. Well folks, there you have it. The tarp tent notch. What do I think of it then, initial thoughts? It's easy to pitch, just needs a little bit of tightening here and there. Get that apex nice and taut. It's a little bit compact inside, but you do have double vestibules with two doors to get in and you make use of them. So that is definitely a bonus. I like the simplicity of it. Two little minor niggles, as I mentioned earlier. I don't like the inside ties for the doors, but I'll live with that. It's not the end of the world. And I feel the system for pulling the ground sheet out with the trekking poles is a bit odd. Because I'm sure in previous models I've watched on YouTube, just had like a Velcro tie. Mine's doesn't have that. There's a little venting here and on the other side as well. And of course, I did say earlier, you can open these and you could get some air just circulating through. I've gone for the half solid inner, so hopefully that'll give me a bit more protection in the colder months. But overall, I do like it. I'm quite excited. I'm looking forward to using this. I don't really have much more to add to that, uh, other than hopefully you'll see more of this tent once the lockdown restrictions are lifted. But otherwise, I'm going to tie up this video and I'll catch you next one. Cheers.